with Femi, my brain on radio. Oh, we are here again today to bless you. Please take this confession with us. We always start with faith confession. Faith is a confession. Never close your mouth. Never close your heart. A closed mouth will lead to a closed destiny. Always say what the word of God says to your life. Take this confession with us every morning. You will start having possession. If you can be as loud as we are, where you are there be that loud if you cannot be that loud still say it loudly enough as the situation there we allow you take this confession with us then say with me i am of god and not of the devil i have a covenant god god is my creator god is my... jesus is my savior jesus. the holy spirit is my companion is my... therefore i cannot fail I will not go down. I can only go up. I am secured in God. I am protected by the Almighty because I enjoy God's presence. His backing will be with me. God shall take me higher. Nothing evil will come near me. It will be forward ever and backward never. I will be a point of reference, a source of attraction. The word of God says, I am like a city on the hill. All eyes will look at me and celebrate God in my life. God will give me space. God will give me chance. Whatever belongs to me and my children in anyone's hand shall be released to me. I will not labor for another man to eat. I will be favored, highly favored, everywhere I go. My life will receive fresh unction. A new oil will come on me. I am climbing higher in all realms of life. I have a divine backing. I cannot be paralyzed. I cannot be held down. I will not slow down. I will move fast, faster. I prophesy everywhere. My name is mentioned. Favor shall be released to me. I will be favored. I am superior to my opposition. I am a conqueror. Greater is he who is in me than he that is in the world. Therefore, I am an overcomer. Every step I take from now on shall be divinely ordered by God. Ordered into beauty. Ordered into power. I will be blessed for all to see. The whole world will know I am serving a true God. I will return back to God and give him the glory. Thank you for hearing me. In Jesus name. Say another amen. Amen. Wow, you will not just be making confession, you will be seeing possession. Now, let's do the next segment of this program, which is the ministration of the word. Love the word. Psalm 119 verse 11 says, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I may not sin against you. It can also be that I might get it right in life, that I might get it right in marriage, that I might get it right in my health area. It could be that I might get it right, do it well in raising excellent dream children or in building a global career, in running a successful ministry, in growing riches and wealth, in living a peaceful and harmonious life with people and neighbors. I can go on and on. God's Word. The Bible is the encyclopedia of life. How to run different department of life has been chronicled in the world. It is written there. All that is important is that you know it and apply it to your life. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, he says, study to show yourself approved, a workman that need not be ashamed. The Bible says, study to show. I wrote by the side of my Bible in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, 
I said, study to shine. Yes, the knowledge makes your eyes shine. I am shining today by the grace of God because I gave myself to study knowledge, to seek knowledge in different aspects of life, early in life. That is what God has sent me here to disseminate, to also let you know that if you do what we did or what we are doing, you will get what we got and what we are getting. Love knowledge. Love knowledge. Proverbs 23, verse 23 says, Buy the truth and sell it not. It says, Buy it. Knowledge is cheap at any price. I once saw a picture of an ugly gorilla display on a wall with an inscription. If you think knowledge is expensive, try ignorance. That will not be your portion. Knowledge is cheap at any price. My listeners, please register for the five weeks of training that I've been announcing of SICOM, Christ International College of Ministry, the second diet this year. By God's grace, I'm the provost in that college and great lecturers are there. It is starting on May 10, running to June 8th. Just five weekends, Friday's evening from 5 p.m., Saturday morning from 10 a.m. You are done. Your knowledge becomes deeper. Now, I will give you the telephone number to chat, SMS or call for enrollment, for admission, and for details later in this message. We are currently discussing on no more delays. Delay in life is a spiritual force. Delay in people's life is a reality. It's an enemy, ah, enemy of success, enemy of fulfillment. What is delay? I define it every day. Delay is an enemy of human destiny. Derail, delay leads to derailment. Delay is a force from satanic hell to scot to beautiful destinies. Delay wastes people's times and wastes people's season. Delay destroys good, God's good plan for people. Delays can waste a marriage, bring down a whole business. Delay is a time waster. A potential celebrity will become a non-entity because delay force or force is set in. Delay is an enemy that must be killed. Delay makes people to cry, to regret. Delay set people back in life, take them into frustration. Delay makes many Christians, many believers backslide into what they know they shouldn't do. I can go on and on, but I prophesy. Today, delay die in your life in the name of Jesus. Every form of delay in anyone's life must die, must not continue with you in Jesus' name. Now, the evil we are saying there must be no, no more delay in your life is coming. That's the program. Wednesday, May 1, I will tell you physically, you've got to be there for God to help you. Yesterday, we started discussing, analyzing causes of delays in people's life. How many people, how people become victim of delays there is always a cause, a reason for every happening. Oh yes, a cause for every happening, negative or positive, good or bad, there are reasons for happenings. Things don't just happen, they are made to happen. For instance, accidents do not just happen. There's always a human error or a human failure behind any accident you see on the way, be it air crashes or boat capsizing, or motor accident or the highway, there's a human error. Proverbs 26 verse 2 says, Curse, curseless, shall not come. Mm, I like that. Curse, C-U-R-S-E, -S -E, curseless, C-A-U-S-C, -E, shall not happen. It doesn't just happen. So why is it that people get delays? Why is it that people get it wrong in life and they are delayed and some other people, fewer in number, get it right and things are so right with them we look at them as champions as people who made it goal getters ah you will be one of them you will be one of them i'm still going to talk so deeply how to get it in time and on time i just said some people get it in time and some get it on time i'm going to talk about that later that's a different subject altogether that message will come in the course of this sharing why do people get delays and then become derailed Yesterday, we said ignorance. They don't know. They lack knowledge. No one told them. They lack teachers. They lack mentors. And listen, in life, if you lack a mentor, you will suffer the torture. Look around you. 
maybe in your own personal life, if you are going to be honest with yourself, look back into your own life. Make a study of your uncles, of your parents, of your elder brothers or sisters life and your life. If you are 40 to 50 years and above, if you knew them when you were much younger, at 18, at 20 or 22 or thereabout, if you knew then what you know now and you acted wisely and timely, is this how and where you will be? Oh, certainly no. The answer, oh, it's obvious. No, that is evil of ignorance. Another major cause of delays and derailment is wrong association. Let me talk briefly about wrong association today. I will conclude on it tomorrow. Proverbs 13 verse 20 says, He that walks with the wise shall be wise. A companion of fools shall be destroyed. Mm, hard word there, strong word there, harsh word there shall be destroyed. Ah, that will not be your portion. That will not be your children's portion in the name of Jesus. So choose your friends and your associates wisely. These are some of the things I'll be teaching you as you come around in Dominion City on Thursdays and on Sunday. 1 Corinthians 15, 33 says, Be not deceived. Evil communication will corrupt good manners. He says, Show me your friend. I will predict to you how your life will end. Yoruba even have a saying, Friendship is done by force, is by choice. You heard me well. Friendship is done by force, is by choice. Choose your close friends wisely and prayerfully. No association leaves you the same. Every association affects destination. Many people are delayed in life because they are connected to the wrong people, receiving wrong advice and wrong influence. Nobody, everybody is influenced in life and you are mostly influenced by people whose opinion you respect. People you see all the time, you talk all the time, people whose opinion matters to you. Be careful who is your mentor. Be careful who you are mentoring. Be careful who you surround yourself with. No association leaves you the same. And it often leads to people being delayed in life, being distracted. The easiest way to miss your flight in the airport is to be discussing with somebody who has a different flight mode, different from you. Somebody who has a totally different flight paper with you if you are discussing with it you won't know where your flight is called so choose your friends wisely and the power of god will back you up the grace of god will be fulfilled i pray for everybody today no matter how much you have missed it in life god will buy time back for you buy time back for your children for your business for your spouse you will still go right in jesus name say amen amen and amen we build more on this tomorrow now from there, we go to testimony sharing. Listen to people's testimonies. My name is Susan Sunday. That's right. My testimony goes like this for my sister. My beloved sister is in Abuja. Hmm. It's like to share this testimony on her behalf. Her testimony goes like this. She was satisfied of uh, a car or a morning. So he was expecting him and they are doing a badge in their office. He have nothing, her account is zero. Hmm. So one day, they ask them that they have so you have to have something in your account before you be given. So I connect her, I say, this is where I am. So I started sending her a telephone message. Then on this February day, the list came out from their office. She called me and said, you have nothing in this account. that they asked yeah. them. I yeah. said, just believe God. Believe God. Believe him. Yes. And with God, we have it. Yes. Her name was, her name came out on that list. <laughs> the nice, that very week, he said, she pray. I said, pray what you want. But I said, she said what you want to her father. Mm. He said, God, she has done her part. He left the remaining one for you. Yes. And she said, she saw her, send her back to seat. I said, okay, fine, he's done. That very week, he saw the alert upon her life. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Heavy money. He saw the time Heavy money. Again. My own goes like this. Last week, I was having a sharp pain on my waist. Mm. I called my brother. He was around. Mm. So that did consent to somebody. Somebody now is, you are going through sharp pain in your body. Mm. Use that more anointing, yes. mountain, whatever. I said, I bring it out. 
on my way to work. Hey. When I came back, my brother said, how is your body? I said, brother, I didn't want to size my waist. He's so sorry. How is your waist? I said, I don't know. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Whatever is wrong with anybody, your story will be, it's gone. My name is Olu Shola. I'm here to give glory to God for what he has done in my life. Mm. Um, the past two months have been challenging uh, with c uh, concerns with health issues and all of that. And I've had to come here, you know, on the morning I was meant to go for a particular test, you know, and, you know, I came to pray mm -hmm. at this altar. Yes. You know, and God is a prayer answering father. Yes, sir. He, he, what I was actually meant to pay about 50,000 naira for for the test, you know, I eventually didn't pay, have to pay anything for it. Mm. You know, I put it here before him. Yes. And it's just to control. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are healed of whatever ailment. My name is Oluremile Kumobafemi. During the last No More Delay service, yes. I, I prayed for God to, for open doors. Open doors. And later I sow my seed. Sow seed. But to be surprised, God surprise, opened surprise. a mega, mega door for me. Mega. Mega. Thank you. Somebody say mega. All of you that have been operating at a minor level, in business, in career, in your network, at school, in ministry, you are moving to mega level. All of you that have been operating at the shallow waters, in business and in career, you are moving to deep ocean. I'm Neka Felix. Help me and thank God. Last week, Tuesday, the devil planned to waste my life wow. in the ocean at Todd Meran Bridge. Wow. I was driving, I don't know how a jeep just hit us from the back wow. and just dragged us to the rear, to the wow. rear. How God stopped that vehicle that day? Hey, hey. I'm still amazed of it. Wow. I don't know what happened, but that Thursday, mm. I wasn't traveling, but I had the urge. I came and behold, that accident happened. If you see what happened, my brothers and sisters, I don't even know what happened. Mm. I just raised the brain. Yes. The thought of me, I just saw that water, and the thoughts entering it, I just closed my eyes. Ah. You were just shouting, Jesus, wow. Jesus, Jesus. Heard the break, and if you see, it was even to even that dragged the car out of out of the bridge. Wow. When, I don't even know what to say. Just help me and praise God. God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. We will not die before your time. My testimony is this. My daughter, I'm always afraid that my children, the two of my children want to get married. You know, especially the girl. I don't know why I'm afraid. So at the time they came to me, a boy came and said, they want to, you know, have a honeymoon. I said, fine. He brought the parents. I agreed. Then within a few months, she took him. She gave birth. Then the second pregnancy was a topic pregnancy. You know, she will be bleeding. You know, sometimes she will, she will feel weak. So I was praying, I was afraid. I said, God of Femi Manuel will not fail me. Mm. So later they invited her to Mikyo for a test that she must operate this baby within 42 hours. I have to start running up and down looking for money. But I thank God that she was operated. Then for my friend, a job that I did not plan, plan for was given to me. Come on. And after that job, I want to thank God that a car followed, the jeep followed. Hey. I want to give God hey. all the glory. Hey. I'm not sorry, I, drive, I always drive this car once in a while because I don't have driving license yet. <laughs> so I want to give God all the glory. Oh, God Praise bless you. God. More will come. Wow, you will not just be hearing people's testimonies. Yours too will come. Is today your bad day? I pray for celebrant every day. Please put your hand on your chest for this prayer. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord lift you. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord make your life fulfilled. You won't die young. You won't die prematurely. You will fulfill your whole life agenda in Jesus' name. One day I will pray for you because one day it will be your own bad day. Have you connected to our social media platforms? What you listen to on radio is one off. But what you have on your TikTok, on your YouTube, on your WhatsApp, on your Telegram is there. You can refer to it again and again. I send a 10 to 12 minutes daily devotion to people's Telegram and WhatsApp 
once you have linked up with us and you have registered with us. And that's why I think many people have already done so. They are getting blessed. Imagine this voice, this anointed voice speaking to your life every day as you wake up. We will send it to your media platforms by 12 midnight. So whenever you wake up in the morning on your phone, this will be the first voice to hear. Imagine this voice prophesying divine direction and blessing and abundance and divine covering and impartational word of knowledge, word of power into your life every day. What you listen and hear every day in the morning will affect you. It is easy. Search for the real family, Emmanuel, on your social media platforms. Search for the real family, Emmanuel. The word real is R-E-A-L. R-E-A-L. Search for the real family, Emmanuel, on Facebook. Like and follow. The Real Family Manuel on Instagram. Follow. The Real Family Manuel on TikTok. Follow and like. The Real Family Manuel on YouTube. Subscribe and turn on notification. Many have already done it very successfully. But if you are finding it difficult to do, send an SMS, send a chat, or make a call to this number and say, I want to be listening, receiving Pastor Femi Manuel early money blessing onto my life and family and my journey every day. Take me to the link, this number, 0805 I call it one more time, 0805 and 0813-485-2813, 0813-485-2813. Send an SMS, make a chat, make a call, they will put you through. And then I mentioned, and of course, teaching on No More Delay. The program is slated for Wednesday, May 1, from 8 a.m. in the morning at Dominion City. Wednesday, May 1 is a public holiday, Labor Day or Workers' Day. Come to receive deeper teachings, prayers, and impartation, anointing on everyone's life. Prepare, pray, and plan to be there. Those who have been coming yearly, those who have seen the hand of God on previous no more delays, who want to listen to your testimonies. Now you came trusting God for babies, for marriage, for business, for conception, for traveling, whatever God has done in previous no more delay services, come and share it. A testimony you fail to share, the enemy can steal the miracle. And if you fail to share your testimony to God's people, you stop God from blessing you the more. I am waiting for everybody in Dominion City on Wednesday, May 1. All listeners, list out all areas of delays and deniers and sufferings in your life and bring it that day. Then, don't forget the Bible college that I have announced, Secom 1, Secom 2. It will take off just five weekends, May 10 to June 8th. Friday will be 5 p.m. and a Saturday will be from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m travel down from all over we even make arrangement to return you after each lecture each day and then you'll be running a very great curriculum some of the courses you will run through in these five weekends will be divine direction how to know one's direction in life or and then mastery of vision how to have a clear vision and run with it success dynamics how to be successful in life divine healing how to live in good health and also minister healing to people purpose and pursuit how to discover one's purpose in life and run with it date like i said five weekends fridays and saturdays may 10 to june 8th now for more information about enrollment and collecting the form please call sms or send a chat to any of these two numbers on the bible college issue 0706 double one more time 0706 double second line 0813 485 2813 0813 485 2813 they will give you more information enrollment there will even be scholarship for those who enroll on time and the bible college fee is just affordable it's small we are not looking for money we just want people who will have knowledge and fulfill their life's purpose and today if you are listening to this message early enough 6 a.m 7 30 a.m 8 30 a.m you are good to come two services will be running today 
at Dominion City. That is the church by the grace of God that I pastor. Come and hear these things more. Come into that great assembly. Thousands and thousands of us, great people with a great God. And today is communion service. Come and partake of the blood of Jesus and of the broken body of Jesus for your healing, for your deliverance, for divine connection. Open your wounds, open your door, and bless you. Come, buses are positioned at Living Spring Chapel, Songo Ibadan, and at Poplar's petrol station in World to bring people to the two services to and fro. You will be so glad. Come, everybody is welcome. Dominion City, Femi Manuel is for everybody. I'm not a denominational pastor. God sent me to be a blessing to my generation. I always call on our neighbors. People are coming from all over Ibadan, as big as Ibadan is. People are coming from outside Ibadan, other cities, other towns, other states neighbors to Dominion City. So all residents of Temidire Estate, Saba Muraya Hotel area, Olo Tedo Estate, Jakon area, Aduloju Community, Iano Bodija, Olio First Street, Alak Banyo Quarters, A3 Hotel area, Rainbow area, Kajorepo Kajola Community, Ajao Community, Agbowo Express, MFM Bus Stop area, Barika Water, Bashonu, Orogun, Major Salau, Ashi Bodija, General Gas, Akobo area, Akalawe, University of Ibadan. You are all close to Dominion City. Be there in any of the two services today. Be there for the Bible College. Be there for May 1, no more delay service. Be there every Thursday, prayer mountain service. What is left for me now is to prophetically bless you for the day. Receive it. Every step you take from now on, heaven will order it. They are awaiting miracles. Miracles you don't beg for. You don't solicit for. You don't cringe before anybody. Whoever has what you need, God will touch their heart. That door you've been knocking will open. That things you've been trusting God for shall be delivered. Never again will you be depressed. Every form of frustration is destroyed. God will keep you happy and excited. You will be joyful all the time. Everything you do, there will be a turn around. Anyone that is sick now, receive your healing. You will be a point of reference. Everyone will join you to serve your God. Those who look down on you now will soon be looking up to you. Those who mock you will come to celebrate with you. The power of God will work for you. The unction of God will make you function. You will not be disabled. No arrow of the enemy will come near your borders. Every arrow shot at you and your people shall backfire back to the sender. You are delivered. You are set free. You are made happy. You are covered with his glory. Live and enjoy your life. In Jesus name. Somebody say amen, amen and amen. Wow. You will not just be hearing these things. You will live in their realities. Femi Manuel is my name. I love you. Have a great day.